Hi everyone, Sean here from Cordistry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to play Do You Remember by Jared James. We have a couple palm muted licks in this one and some bar chords too. I'm going to show you both of those things in this lesson and if you check the description you'll find a link to the chord chart. While you're down there you'll see my social media links and you can hit that subscribe button for more lessons just like this one. Alright, I'm going to zoom in now so we can check this one out. Okay, so we're in standard tuning today. E, A, D, G, B, E. Now, we're going to start by covering the different licks that happen during the intro and the verse. There's only two, and they just go back and forth. So we're hanging out in this kind of C sharp minor pentatonic pattern. So if you know that scale shape, it's going to help you out. If you don't, I'm still going to cover all of the notes in these licks. So let's start on the first one. We're playing fret 11 on the D string with your third finger twice. We're moving to fret 9 on the G string with your first finger. Play that twice. And then to fret 11 on the G string with your third finger. And then fret 9 on the B string with your first finger. Play that four times around. Now add a palm mute. So take this part of your hand, put it on the strings next to the bridge so it has this plucky kind of sound. And just do the same thing. We're trying to emulate the sound of the violin being plucked. So we're, we're doing it like this because of that. Now the second lick goes like this. So now we're on fret 9 of the D string with your first finger. Play that twice. Go to 11 on the D string with your third finger. Play that twice. Go to the G string with your first finger on fret 9. Play that twice. And then to fret 11 on the G string with your third finger. Play that twice. Just once, actually. Okay, do the same thing, palm mute it, and play it four times around. So those are the two licks, this one, and this one. And you just go back and forth. So the intro is going to be one time through the first lick, and one time through the second lick. The verse is going to go like this. We're going to go first one, second one, first one, second one, and then second one, first one. So it's like A, B, A, B, B, A for the pattern. And then we come to the chorus. So the chorus is when we start playing some chords. We have a C sharp minor chord. chord, a B chord, and then I'll show you this too because we use it in the bridge, an F sharp minor chord. So let's just take a break from learning the song and check out these chords. C sharp minor goes like this. Your first finger bars across fret 4 from the A to high E strings. Your third and fourth fingers are on fret 6 of the D and G strings and your second finger is on fret 5 of the B string. Strum the A to high E strings. And that's a C sharp minor chord. The next shape we need is an E chord, an open E. 
your first finger is on fret one of the G string, your second finger is on fret two of the A string, and your third finger is on fret two of the D string. Strum all six strings. We also need a B chord, B major. Your first finger is on fret two of the A string, and however you can, play the fourth frets of the D, G, and B strings. I use my third finger. You can do this, or this too, but you gotta get all four of those notes. And that's a B major chord. And then, like I said, we're gonna find this chord, F sharp minor, in the bridge. Here's how you make it. Your first finger bars across fret two on all six strings. Your third and fourth fingers are on fret four of the A and D strings. I like to use my second finger to help out the first so that we can hear all of the notes. And then strum all six strings. C sharp minor, E, B, and F sharp minor. Those are the chord shapes we're gonna use in this song. Okay, here's how the chorus goes. We're gonna play C sharp minor for two measures. And then go to E and play that for two measures. Then go to B, same thing, two measures. back to C sharp minor for another two measures. So before we do it again, let's talk about the strum pattern. Our beat is very slow in this song. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So our strum pattern is going to be one and a two e and a three and a four e and a one and a two e and a three and a four e and a so down down up down up down up down down up down up down up down down up 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 just like that one two three four two two And that was the chorus. After that, you'd go and play another verse and do the same thing. Play the first pattern, followed by the second pattern. The first one again. The second one again. here and then back to the first one okay so that was the second verse after you do that we're on to another chorus you just play the same chords that we did for the first chorus C sharp for two measures C sharp minor for two measures E for two measures, B for two measures, C sharp minor again for two measures. Awesome. After the second chorus, we have a bridge. And what we're going to do here is strum the chord one, two, three, four, and then play the bass note. One, two, three, four, like that. So that's how we're going to strum these chords in the bridge. Strum once on the first measure and hit just the bass note on the second measure. And the chord progression is like this. C sharp minor, and then B major. Here's our F sharp minor. And 
then C sharp minor again. And that's it. Eight measures. Each chord is two measures long. C sharp minor, then B, then F sharp minor, then C sharp minor. Great. Following the bridge, we're on to our last chorus. And this time, we're going to play two times through our chorus chord progression because it's a double chorus at the end of the song just to finish off with a bang. I'm not going to show you that because it's very easy. You just play the same chords again in the chorus that you know. So that's really all you got in this tune is the verse, riffs, or licks, whatever you want to call them, the chorus chord progression, and the bridge chord progression. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and learned something from this lesson, hit that like button. And please, if you want more of these in your subscription box, hit that subscribe button too. My name is Sean. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with another lesson.